So recap of Friday. As I told you before, Fridays are my worst days. I didn't trade today. Coming from a four uh, green day week, uh, no red days for May. I've been trading very selective. I've been trading also with uh, other pro traders. And uh, the point is this market is uh, very tricky. I prefer to avoid uh, often the first five minutes out of the gate, wait to see the direction and the tape, uh, have a read of the, of the bids lately, because when we have no bids and um, we have so um, not that much uh, liquidity, we tend to have a fader right away. But often, like today on NADB, we started to have a high bid uh, refilling over here. And all this is covered in the 101 tape reading webinar. Uh, 287, 286, we started having refilling of the, of the bid and that push. Our plan this morning was to look for uh, a J lines curl up long. This was the, the setup that we uh, big one watching. Uh, before starting explaining the day, I can be, I'm very proud of uh, one of my friends over here is in mentoring because he had his best week by far, 90% win rate. Uh, and this is uh, what I like to see from traders. Then today I've seen some good trades. Um, I will explain Carfit, Charlie, if um, they want to add something to their trades. I'm, I'm, I'm available over here uh, to add them to the, the chat today. So Carfit is coming from an 80% win rate week. Um, it's doing very good. Um, these stocks that are gapping right now, wait before trading them, wait to have a push. If we have low volume, I'm gonna trade J-line rejection. Like over here, Carford did, you see? We had this uh, failed push on the way back down. He shorted and covered. This was a, a very tight stop because he saw that the volume was jumping in over here. We had a fast reclaim of three. And when you have this $3 number, always look traders for buyers to step in, three, three, four, five, all the whole dollar numbers. Once we had that fake breakout over here of 340 and rejection over here, so this bar is a pretty good rejection, then it jumped short over here. Why? Because we short only the extensions, we don't short weakness. Unless we have no volume, we're looking for a fake. Cover over here. We add over here, cover more over here, cover more over here, we short at the J lines, cover and cover. So this is a way how to short extension, cover dips and recycle your shares. What to use when you want to recycle traders? First of all, keep always in mind your average. It's not a beginner uh, strategy. Always look for nice trend line breaks, look for patterns, look for the tape. So you wanna see that we have no buyers stepping in this area in the 280 to 90. You wanna see heavy sellers and then you can take your short. Uh, often I trade full size on extension. I cover one third of half. I re-add half or all the um, size that I covered but I'm always very attentive to what's my next average. So if I have a short, let's say at 320, and I'm adding then full size at 290, and let's say it's 50-50, then I will have like a 305 average. So I know that I cannot stay anymore with my stop at three, till 330, because then I will have a, a 25 cent stop. So according to my adding and scaling out, recycling, I move my stop down as well. That's why I say it's not a beginner trade because as a beginner trader, you still need to get practice with your 
fails with your execution, with the setups. So stick only to one or two entries and uh, they must be solid entries. The next setup we had today was uh, Charlie. Um, he's Spanish, so that's the reason why I use those colors over there. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from this, he's doing very good. Proud of his way of trading. Um, he starts in pre-market. MDGS this morning was a big forecast for a fader. We started seeing some um, entries over here, scaling out over here, re-adding over here, scaling out over here. And this is still pre-market. So our market starts over here. What he waits, he waits for that push. Again, first day line rejection, shorting over here, covers, shorting over here, covers. These covers over here, you don't need to use uh, cover, on the ask, you can simply put yourself already on the bid because we have some levels. 320 was the, uh, the 200. Uh, then we have at $3, the 200 on the five. So we know already our targets with the strategy that we're trading. And over here, his risk was above this uh, peak. Uh, so taking over here for 3R, reshorting, the stock was above this peak. So again, for 3R. And this is how you make your account growing size shorting with tight risk covering short with tight risk covering and do we like to also to long personally yes i started being i started only with the long trades i was only buying stocks but this market especially small caps is pretty different than the big caps big caps we have a lot of long plays i like to trade long the first hour uh, but on small caps we see that 80 percent of these news or the first or the second day, they tend to fail all the way down. So congratulations to the traders. I've been seeing some really good consistency. Uh, we are going to have a um, day trading course for advanced traders. The price will be 399 discounted for um, the Memorial Day, 299 Okay, traders, thank you very much. We'll be still in the room and uh, great trading week.